I'm here at Mazak in Worcester at their Emo Encore event. I'm with Mark Hall. We're looking at an automation solution here, a new cell on offer from Mazak. Uh, Mark, this is the Integrex i450HST machine, but the actual cell here, well, tell us the name of this cell and tell us why you've introduced it. Yeah, this is a Mazak Autoflex cell. And really, it's interesting for customers that man manufacture a high mix of components, but in small volumes, and they're looking to reduce their setup times and increase their productivity. Now, you, you were the initiators or the founders, should we say, of the multitasking technology many, many years ago. Uh, the addition of the automation to it, does that just take this to a next level? I mean, what problems are you solving by doing this? Well, firstly, the machine itself has been designed, really, uh, so it's automation friendly from the ground up. So we've done lots of work, so it makes it easier to position a robot in front of the machine without interfering with the operator's position. But cleverly, what we've done is to design things around the magazine that means the operators still can work in a very easy fashion, so the ergonomics of the machine have also been enhanced. Well, this is what I was going to say, because looking at the previous Integrex, very ergonomic, very easy for the operator. You stand in front of it, your tool changer is just to your left, your spindles are right in front of you, your controls to the right. When you stick a robot in front of you, it, 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 you know, it, it gets in the way, doesn't it? So you've, you've addressed that. Tell us a few of the points that you've addressed and how you've done it. Well, what we've done is to look at where the, the, the operator uh, engages with the machine, but also look at where we need to place automation. And so one of the aspects is we've moved the magazine to the rear of the machine, but at the same time, to present the operator with um, an easy way in which he can change the tools, we have a utility at the front of the machine, so the operator can still load his tools through the front of the machine, reducing his overall workload. OK, so that's one area. Now tell us about the other, about, about for example, loading it, and the, and the axis movement and the travel? Yeah, the machine capacity has been increased. So overall, you can swing a, a, a larger workpiece compared to the older range. We've enhanced the stroke of the machine. For example, the Y-axis now features a 300 millimeter, millimeter stroke. But, another, but, but I notice here that the robot is, is very much to the, to the left of the machine. The arm is capable then of extending to the subspindle. That's quite a long stroke, isn't it? Well, actually, if you notice on the robot itself, but it travels along a carriage on the floor, as you can see in the action now. In front of the machine, we have five carts, and these five carts can be interchanged by the operator at any time. And the five carts carry, the first one carries additional robot hands, up to six robot hands. The second one carries extra chuck jaws to complement the automatic jaw changer on the machine. The third one carries additional tools. Now, the additional tools can be oversized tools. For example, a gun drill up to 600 millimeters length. And then we have two stations for workpieces. And this machine here is configured to carry shaft loading workpieces, a longer shaft, and also then chuck workpieces. And is that a fixed amount of stations, or can you increase on that if you wanted to maybe have more parts, three or four more stations for components, for example? At the moment, with this design, it's, it's configured with five stations, but there is some flexibility with how we occupy those five stations. And, and how do you then go about, with your control, uh, interfacing it to this robot, and you know, how, how's the programming all done? OK, well, that's a very interesting aspect, because with the advent of the new smooth AI control, we can program the robot directly from the CNC itself. And we've combined some really interesting features. We have a robot cell controller and um, a robot teaching assistant, which makes it very, very much easier. So the robot cell controller really works in a different way into perhaps other robot controllers. Instead of sending out just a signal to the robot to start working and the robot sending the signal back to the machine, actually we can do much more. So for example, the robot cell controller can interrogate the machine to look at its resource capability in terms of the number of tools. A really important factor, if you're changing between jobs and different work pieces, you need to make sure that you have the resources in terms of tooling. And this can all be identified with the robot cell controller. So we're really now taking automation to the next level with artificial intelligence, aren't we? I mean, Mark, in reality, who's going to be adopting all of this? What factories that you go into will benefit from what we have here? Well, there's a number. Well, what we've seen is really is a trend for um, the number of workpieces in batches, uh, the size to be reduced. So lots of customers have a really broad range of mix of components, and they machine those in sort of small batches, and they react to the market very quickly. So what this machine does is overcome the problem where that encounters setup time. So by having a machine that can change everything from the chuck jaws 
and the workpieces and the tooling, we can reduce the setup times and make it efficient to change between different components, even for short runs. Wow, so if that's you, then this is a solution for you. Um, just on a final point, the actual Integrex changes that Mark mentioned as well um, has no impact either or no bearing on the price of the machine, which is probably something that you may have been thinking. Incredible how they've managed to achieve that. Mark, this is a brilliant solution. Uh, thanks for talking us through it, and I'm sure there are lots of factories that will benefit from this here in the UK. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much.